tanto jugando suelto como en competición. Tanto si se trata de un rápido 9 hoyos o de un gran 36. Tanto si juegas bajo presión o arrasando, siempre das lo mejor de ti. Nuevo fue el de Foot Joy. Here with Lydia Coe, a nice uh, little 67 here in the second round on Friday. Kind of got off to a little shaky start, but kind of bounced back. What, what, uh, how did you switch your mindset after that early double? Um, I was able to make a good comeback after every mistake and then, um, uh, and then I made a mistake again on the next hole. Uh, but then I was kind of able to stop that pattern um, after making up and down for par on 17 and then made a really good up and down on 18, probably hit it in the place that was most unideal, um, but got a good lie, so tried to take advantage of that. And um, yeah, you know, made a birdie on two and then on three out, of, I was out of position and I chipped like a 9-iron from like 90 yards, um, actually from like 80 yards uh, under from under the tree and it went to like three feet. So I think that shot was kind of a bonus. Um, you know, it's the point where I, I was even par and then, you know, I don't want to be over par again. And um, I think that kind of changed the momentum and it was almost like a two shot swing at, at that point. Take us to that eagle on seven. Yeah, I hit a really good drive. Um, I hit six iron into the green, hit a little right than um, I was hoping to, but ended up uh, making the shot look like I had planned it uh, all the way. Um, I think it just used the ridge, and I think um, there are quite a few holes here where you can use your, the ridge to your advantage um, to some tuck pin positions, and ended up uh, you know going to like five feet. So uh, it was a good place to putt um, for eagle. At a place like Palos Verdes, how much does creativity um, on the golf course? I mean, that, that bump and run nine and iron sounds like that was the most creative shot of your day. Yeah, I think um, the greens are probably one of the most difficult parts, and um, obviously Poena can have uh, can get in your head as well. But I think at the end of the day, as long as I just put good strokes on it and hit quality um, shots, I feel like you know, you're able to play. And you know, yesterday eight under and seven under in the morning. I don't know if the conditions were different, but I feel like that score wasn't really out there for me at least uh, today. Um, but you just have to play. Um, you know, just creatively and be patient. Um, there are some tougher holes uh, and um, some easier ones. So even if you do make a mistake, don't kind of give up and uh, feel like you can make up for it on the next hole. Um, and yeah, I think driving is, is probably one of the big keys around here too. You talk about these Poana greens. Round one saw you have 30 putts. Today you only had 23. Um, what was the difference maker today? Um, I probably missed more greens today. Um, <laughs> I, I drove it as well as I did yesterday, um, but some, you know, club selection errors, some, you know, just poor execution of shots, um, but, you know, I tried to not get too caught up and uh, just be um, super patient, and I think that's what you got to do. Um, it's, it's not easy, especially when the wind's up. I think some holes played completely different to, like, my practice round, so just uh, having a lot of patience and uh, enjoying it. Didn't see you last week and the first of uh, these two weeks in LA. How much did that rest help you, especially at this golf course, which is such a stamina challenge? Nothing against that event, but I have not played well like the three times I've played there. So um, that was kind of not on my calendar. Uh, so it was nice. I actually took an extra few days um, and spent it with family after Hawaii. So I stayed back a little bit and then you know, came over to California. So it was my birthday. I said last year I, com I missed the cut to not play on my birthday. And so I just decided to not play golf uh, on, on my birthday without having to miss cut. Yeah. Well, happy belated. Thank you. <laughs> um, headed into the weekend, going to be in contention, um, a place that you know <laughs> quite well. Um, how good does it feel, and what's the, what are some of the positives that you're going to take away from these first two rounds with you into Saturday and Sunday? Um, I think I just got to stick to my own game. Um, I feel like this is a course where you could be a long hitter, short hitter. It, there's not, it's not like a huge advantage to one type of player. I think you have to putt really well and have to hit it you know, pretty straight just to be able to give yourself shots into the green. So, yeah, um, I like golf courses like that. You know, sometimes, you know, courses lean towards one way or the other. Um, but, you know, I like courses where it's, it's a fair game for everyone. And I think that's why it's quite a diverse leaderboard as well. Perfect.
Thanks, Lydia. Yeah, thank nuevo Pro SL no tiene clavos, pero tiene un agarre increíble. Con una plancha de carbono adicional para optimizar el retorno de energía y un nuevo y moderno diseño, el zapato original de máximo rendimiento sin clavos tiene algunas ventajas importantes.